And so um, from year to year, it's kind of similar where they're going to stay and where, where they're going to march. Uh, usually um, uh, our Portuguese church uh, has uh, several groups behind them, so they kind of march together. Our club run, has their events and their youth group, they march together. So, and then in between we fit, you know, our, our high school band, uh, Elizabeth High usually run, marches right in the front. Um, we have some other bands from outside of the city that come in and march. Um, it ends up becoming a, a pretty nice parade. Uh, I think last year we had 55 or 53 uh, contingencies. Now, how do, if, if somebody wants to march in the parade, they request permission, or how does that happen? Yes, uh, if anybody is interested in bringing, we we allow outsiders to come in um, and use the parade as a as an as a marketing or an advertising form. And form we we charge a, a fee, and they can bring a float advertising their their business. Okay, um, if if they're interested in doing that, they should contact our. Um, our Portuguese club, because that's where our committee meets, um, and they will pass the message on. The president of our committee this year is a gentleman by the name of Joe Capitano. Uh, he's actually uh, was selected by the member by the committee to be the president. His role is he's in charge of the Boy Scouts uh, of Elizabeth. So, um, so he's uh, he's the one that's running this. He couldn't be here today because he has a doctor's appointment. But he um, he would take anybody's uh, information. We send out an application for them, and then we, we have to get that back so we can get an idea of whether it's going to be a float, whether it's going to be a marching group, et cetera. Now, what's the easiest way to get current news about the Portugal Day festivities? We have a website. Um, the Portugal Day Committee has a website. I, I don't know it off the top of my head, but it's, uh, I think it's... Uh, www.portugalday.com, I'm sure like we'll that, right. Or slash Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And um, we have all the events uh, on, the, on the website. So anything that, uh, that anybody's interested in, they just pull it up on the website. Putting together a parade is never easy, and it's always costly. And uh, raising the money, I know the county free elders help out, and they become a sponsor. But who else are sponsors of the Portugal Day Parade, and how do you meet these expenses? Well, our parade, believe it or not, um, our budget every year is about twenty-six, twenty-seven thousand dollars to put the whole parade and all the events leading up to it together. Um, the county, Union County Freeholders have been very generous over the years with, with their uh, stipend. Uh, the City of Elizabeth through um, um, the um, UEZ helps a little bit with some of the uh, costs for the bands. Um, we get a lot of uh, private donations also. And then we run events. Um, we have our, uh, our big event to raise money is our Queen Dinner, where we had uh, this year almost 400 people there and we raised money there. Uh, this year we also started for the first time a golf outing, uh, which I kind of convinced the committee to try to raise some money. I was away, but I sent the foursome. I was yeah. wondering, how did that go? It went very well. We had we ended up with, I think it was 53 or 54 golfers for the first time, and uh, we raised a little money, so it was nice. Um, and the day was beautiful. It was mm -hmm. like the best day of the week. Um, so it, it, it takes a lot of uh, contributions from a lot of different sources and uh, in the end we usually do very well. Now if there's any visiting dignitaries from Portugal or elsewhere, uh, is there anything in particular that uh, they do during the parade or they just march and participate along with others? Well what we try to do is we try to have a reception for them. Uh, the, the night of the flag raising, uh, we usually have a reception back at the, uh, at the Portuguese club and um, if they get here early enough, uh, you know, I, I ask them to, to come and visit City Hall and visit your office. Um, I think this year we're going to have the um, <clears throat> the mayor of a, of one of the main towns in, in Portugal. It's not confirmed yet which one, and uh, he's going to march in the parade, and he's going to be part of our festivities. Good. Well, second generation Portuguese here in our city have still embraced your culture and your traditions. It must make you feel really well as a second generation Portuguese passing it on to your kids as correct. third generation. That's correct. And uh, the culture continues, and I'm sure the parade will continue for many years. And Hopefully you'll be a senior citizen. Your kids will be running a parade. <laughs> you know, it, it's promise you can't cook as good as your father. No, that's true. <laughs> but you know, it, it's 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 interesting because uh, this country obviously is made up of all, all groups, and um, you know, we have the Cuban Americans that run their parade. The Haitian Americans had their parade, and and you know, every group should always embrace their culture, but then come together as a as a U.S. Uh, community. We thank you for those closing comments, Councilman. I look forward to joining with you at Portugal Day festivities as well as the parade. Thank you, Mayor. For Councilman Manny Grova, I'm Chris Bolwage. We'll see you next week on another edition of Our City.